I will learn of him each day. I will follow in his footsteps. I will walk the narrow way. For he loves me, yes, he loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know. Jesus loves me, died to save me. This is why I love him so. Hello everybody and welcome once again to our daily devotions. And before we begin, I'd like us to pray. Our kind and loving Father, we thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to spend time alone with you. As we begin, we pray that you may fill us with your spirit, that we may understand that which you want us to say. For it's in Christ Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Okay, so my name is Misati Burichara and today we're going to be studying what does the Lord require? What does the Lord require? And we're going to read from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10. Deuteronomy chapter 10, and we will be reading in verse 12 and 13. And it reads, And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him? and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. And so God is telling us that all he requires of us is to fear God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve him with all our heart, and in conclusion, to keep his commandments and statutes which he commands us this day for our good. So the commandments of God and the statutes of God are given us for our own good. That's why he's telling us to keep them. Not so that he can have the pleasure of seeing robots going following a certain transcript, but because they are for our good. They'll make us better people simply because they'll treat people in a better way and will thus make this place a better place. And so... I'd like also to read a paragraph from the book of Prophets and Kings by Ellen G. White. And I shall be reading page 30 and paragraph 3. It says, It is by honoring God and obeying his commands that a man is made truly great. Wow, that's powerful. It is by honoring God and obeying his commands that you can become great. If you've ever wanted to be great, here's your answer. Honor God, obey his commands. What does he require of us? To fear him, to love him, to serve him, to walk in all his ways. In other words, to keep his commandments. Then you shall become truly great. And so my prayer for us is that we may do that which God requires of us. To walk in all his ways to fear him, to love him, to serve him, and to obey his commands. For by doing so, we are made truly great. Let's bow down for a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day that you have given us and for teaching us that which is essential for every single man to know how to be truly great, how to follow that which you have planned for us from the beginning, which is to become like you by walking in your ways, by loving you, and by serving you, by fearing you and keeping your commandments. I pray that, Lord, you may help us to keep this in mind throughout this whole day. For it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Almighty Father, Be 